Hey, Nicole here from Shape It Up Fitness, and today we are talking about making a plan, and another plan, and another plan, to help you get to your fitness goals. So stay tuned. You know, there are some people that are waiting for the perfect moment to start a fitness program, and it's never gonna happen. I got news for you. It's never gonna be the perfect time. It's never gonna be the perfect climate. There's never, there's always gonna be stuff going on. So how you approach your fitness, do you really wanna do it? That's the first question you should ask yourself. If you keep putting it off, what is holding you back? When you've committed to doing something healthy for your body and starting a fitness program, you're probably gonna jump in and it's gonna be great and it's wonderful for like the first two weeks, the honeymoon phase maybe three weeks if you're pushing it. But then after those first initial weeks, stuff's gonna start coming up. You know, um, a business meeting, a um, last minute, you know, board decision, you have to go run to work, or your child is sick and you have to go pick them up. Stuff like that. Or, you know, a death in the family. Things come up, this is life, right? You know, if we didn't have those things, then we wouldn't have life. So I always like to have a couple plans made in advance. So. Your plan A is your ideal situation. So that means you can work out at the time that you designated, you know, your foods on point, you can prep your foods or however you're managing your foods. That's your ideal situation is plan A. Plan B is going to be your first backup plan. That is going to be when like, there's a situation where your workout you need to bump back for an hour because you have a meeting at work or um, you know, your kid's homesick, that kind of thing. So your plan B is going to be what can you do when these certain situations arise? Say you're traveling for business. What are you going to do to keep going forward on your fitness goals? One of the things might be is you're going to have a travel workout that you can do in your hotel room. You can go check out the gym at the hotel. You can go for a walk, you know, find walking paths, that kind of thing. So that's your plan B. So it's not plan A, because plan A is ideal. Plan B is your not so ideal. And then plan C is like the emergency situations in your life. There's a death in the family, you're sick, you know, you're going through divorce, you just lost your job, whatever big life-changing moments that are going on. That is a time when you're pretty much like in below maintenance mode. You are just like, okay, what is the minimum that I can do so I feel like I'm still creating momentum to get me to my fitness goals? Because, you, you know, if a, a loved one all of a sudden is on hospice, you're going to feel like you, you need to be there and, and you need to be there. So let's figure out what you can do in the hospital while they're sleeping or you know go walk the halls, go up and down the steps, that kind of stuff. So having a plan C is good because a lot of times when these big life events happen, people fall apart. They, they, their fitness goals go right out the door. A great example is Christmas time, right? The holiday season is here, everybody's having parties and there's so much to do because we gotta decorate the tree, we gotta get Christmas cards and all this stuff and your fitness goals are the first thing that go out the window. And then what happens in January when you go, oh my gosh, what happened over the past, like since November? What, how did I gain all this weight? Well, it's because you didn't have a plan C in place or a plan B. Make sure you have your plan A, which is an ideal situation. Your plan B, which is uh, not ideal, but like little stuff coming up. Plan C is life-changing events. And some of you may need a D or an E or an F plan. That's totally fine. So the key is just consistency and just make sure that you stay on the path to your fitness goals. So that is all for me today. I wanna to thank you for being here. Remember to go visit shapeitupfitness.com for more fitness tips and nutrition and mindset. And remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I will see you in the next Shape It Up video. Take care.